The book of Genesis is the first book of the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, and the Christian Old Testament. It's also considered the foundational text for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Genesis is a compilation of ancient narratives that explain the origins of the world, humanity, and the Israelite people. The book is divided into two main sections, Primeval History, chapters 1 toward 11. This section contains stories that describe the creation of the world, the first humans, Adam and Eve, the fall of man, the story of Cain and Abel, the great flood and Noah's ark, and the Tower of Babel. These stories are often understood as symbolic and allegorical, offering moral and theological teachings about human nature, sin, and divine punishment. Patriarchal History, Chapters 12-50 to This section focuses on the stories of Abraham and his descendants. It includes the stories of Abraham's call to leave his homeland and his covenant with God, the birth of his son Isaac, the rivalry between Isaac's twin sons Jacob and Esau, Jacob's journey to his uncle Laban's house, his marriages to Leah and Rachel, and the stories of his twelve sons who would become the ancestors of the twelve tribes of Israel. The book of Genesis is often seen as a theological and historical foundation for understanding the rest of the Bible. It introduces key themes such as God's creation of the world, human disobedience and sin, divine promises and covenants, The book of Genesis is quite lengthy, so I'll provide a brief overview of the chapters from 1 to 50. Chapter 1 to 11 Primeval History Creation God creates the heavens, earth, and all living things in six days. He rests on the seventh day. Creation of Adam and Eve God creates the first humans, Adam and Eve, and places them in the Garden of Eden. The Fall Adam and Eve disobey God by eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, resulting in their expulsion from the Garden. Cain and Abel Cain kills his brother Abel out of jealousy, and he becomes a wanderer. Genealogy a genealogy from Adam to Noah is listed, Noah and the Ark. God chooses Noah to build an ark to save his family and pairs of animals from a worldwide flood. The Flood Rain falls for forty days and nights, flooding the earth. The Ark carries Noah, his family, and the animals to safety. The Flood subsides. The waters recede, and Noah offers sacrifices to God. Covenant with Noah God establishes a covenant with Noah and promises to never flood the earth again. The rainbow symbolizes this covenant. Table of Nations A list of the descendants of Noah's sons and the origins of different nations. Tower of Babel Humanity attempts to build a tower to reach heaven, but God confuses their languages, scattering them across the earth. Chapter 12 to 50 Patriarchal History 12 Call of Abram, Abraham
God calls Abram to leave his homeland and promises to make him a great nation. Abram and Lot. Abram and his nephew Lot part ways, and God reaffirms his promises to Abram. Abram rescues Lot. Abram rescues Lot and defeats several kings. God's covenant with Abram. God establishes a covenant with Abram, promising him numerous descendants. Birth of Ishmael. Abram's wife Sarai gives her maidservant Hagar to Abram, and Hagar bears Ishmael. Covenant of circumcision. God changes Abram's name to Abraham and institutes circumcision. Death and Burial of Sarah Abraham purchases a burial site for Sarah, finding a wife for Isaac. Abraham's servant finds Rebekah as a wife for Isaac. Death of Abraham Abraham dies and his sons Isaac and Ishmael bury him. Isaac and Abimelech Isaac encounters Abimelech, similar to his father's encounter. Jacob's deception. Jacob deceives his father, Isaac, to receive his brother Esau's blessing. Jacob's dream. Jacob has a dream of a ladder to heaven and receives God's promises. Jacob's marriages. Jacob marries Leah and Rachel, daughters of Laban. Birth of Jacob's children. Leah, Rachel, and their maidservants bear Jacob's children. Jacob's departure. Jacob flees from Laban with his family and possessions. Jacob wrestles with God. Jacob wrestles with a divine being and is renamed Israel. Reconciliation with Esau. Jacob and Esau reconcile. Dinah's incident. Dinah, Jacob's daughter, is defiled by Shechem, leading to conflict. Return to Bethel. Jacob returns to Bethel, where God confirms his new name and covenant. Descendants of Esau. A genealogy of Esau's descendants is listed. Joseph's dreams. Joseph has dreams that foretell his future prominence. Judah and Tamar Judah's daughter-in-law Tamar conceives twins after a complex incident. Joseph in Egypt Joseph is sold into slavery in Egypt and rises to prominence in Potiphar's household. Joseph's interpretation of dreams Joseph interprets dreams for Pharaoh's officials while in prison. Joseph's rise to power. Joseph interprets Pharaoh's dreams, predicting seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. Joseph's brothers in Egypt. Joseph's brothers come to Egypt seeking food during the famine. Benjamin's journey to Egypt. Jacob sends his sons back to Egypt with Benjamin. Joseph's silver cup. Joseph tests his brothers by hiding a silver cup in Benjamin's sack. Reconciliation and family reunion. Joseph reveals his identity to his brothers and reconciles with them.
In conclusion, the book of Genesis serves as a profound introduction to the major themes that shape the beliefs and narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Through its primeval history, it explores the origins of the universe, humanity's creation, fall, and early history. The patriarchal history delves into the lives of key figures like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, highlighting their relationships with God, their struggles, and the establishment of the Israelite lineage. These narratives set the stage for the larger story of God's covenant with His chosen people, the Israelites, and the unfolding of their history and faith. Genesis offers both religious and moral insights, addressing fundamental questions about human nature, divine providence, and the complexities of human relationships. As a foundational text, it continues to resonate across cultures and religions, influencing literature, art, and thought for millennia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.